There's been many different ideas about smart homes uh, in time. And uh, there's a lot that are being heavily promoted now. Amazon has such a system uh, connected to Alexa, their voice recognition system, for example, one that uh, you see heavily uh, promoted. Apple Home is another kind of home automation system. But there's many others uh, and coming from a lot of different sources, not just high tech companies, traditional building controls, vendors, uh, vendors of individual equipment, etc. One of the areas that I personally am interested in and doing some work these days is in DC distribution in homes. Uh, going back to Tesla and Edison for a minute, uh, the big war of the currents, AC versus DC. Um, Tesla won because AC has this great property of uh, the voltage being very manageable. You can change the voltage to high levels, which makes uh, transportation over long distances a lot more efficient. efficient. For example, the power system in vehicles uh, is DC. So when you're driving your car and you're listening to the radio, you're actually on a DC network rather than an AC network. And actually, uh, technically, DC, it turns out, has some advantages in distribution. So in most buildings, even though the power coming out of the socket is AC, most or many, in some cases, most of the devi devices are actually DC. So this monitor that I'm standing here looking at and the, all the devices on the internet and the device that's recording me and so on, these are all DC devices. So the problem with the AC distribution, one of the problems is that every time you switch from AC to DC, there's going to be some losses involved. Uh, DC has some other advantages as well. Uh, what we're talking about here is relatively low voltage DC, maybe 24 or 48 volts. So probably more than your car, but way less than the AC distribution that you have. So uh, distributing power like this in low voltage DC, one of the advantages is that it's relatively safe. There are some power quality problems that come along with AC. So AC means that the current and the voltage are constantly changing, even though energy is getting transferred. And uh, the problem is that that waveform can get distorted so that the energy is not being as efficiently delivered as it might be.